Hello, Rockville Center School community, and welcome to this week's live stream where we bring you all the updates and all the things that are happening within the Rockville Center Schools. Um, today, we're going to start off with a COVID-19 update. We did have a second case in the district, and we do hope that that student is recovering um, and everything is going well. Uh, we did, however, have to close down a classroom uh, for a quarantine period because of the contact tracing that was going on. Uh, but we're hoping that that all clears up and we're able to bring our students back when everything is cleared. Um, with that being said, I'm asking everyone again to please follow the guidelines that are outlined by the CDC, by um, the state organizations and by the feds to be able to curb um, any outspread, outspread of the virus moving forward. Uh, please adhere to social distancing guidelines. Please practice good respiratory hygiene. Again, I will reiterate uh, the position that we're in, the reason why we're able to be back in school and we're able to continue on with getting back to this sense of normalcy is because it's a shared partnership between the community and the schools. Um, as much as we do things within the hours of the school walls, we're asking that that continue to happen as the students leave and go back uh, home. With that also being said, our subcommittees uh, continue to meet um, and they are kept up to date on all current information regarding um, all the things that are updated on the CDC, also with the updates that are coming from the Nassau uh, Department of Health. Um, with that, regarding the middle and high school, we will continue to look for opportunities to normalize the schedule. Um, this includes uh, engaging our re reopening committee in the near future and continuing to discuss um, and see the studies and the latest reports that are coming from the Fed and states uh, and looking to their guidance to make sure that if anything or any other decisions that we make, they're in line with our safety and health protocols. Um, I will also say that safety is our top priority and the timing of any potential action is key to how we reach the end of the school year. And we wanna get to uh, a full robust school year for all our students, uh, ranging all the way from kindergarten to 12th grade. Um, just as a reminder also, if your child is currently uh, learning remote School re-entry points are, in no, are coming up, uh, the first one uh, next week, November 2nd, um, and then the other two are coming up on January 14th and March 1st in 2021. Um, as we get back to this sense of normalcy, as I stated last week, clubs have uh, begun and they are all meeting virtually. Uh, I will also be um, giving the okay to some of the other clubs that have come up uh, from the high school level uh, that are requested to start. Uh, to be able to meet virtually. So look out for those. And if you have any further questions on that, please reach out to um, your print building principals as they can provide you with further information. And also check, up, check on our website for further uh, information as well. Another big thing that's happening over the course of the next week, we've planned this out and some information went out yesterday that our uh, fitness and uh, activities program will be beginning next Monday, uh, starting from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. 4.30 p.m. on the outside track and field at the middle school and at the high school. Um, this is an activity uh, looking at strength and conditioning for 6th to 12th graders, and all are welcome. Uh, the program will focus on agility, jump training, speed, muscular strength, flexibility, power moves, um, and muscular endurance as well as balance, um, and uh, cardiovascular conditioning as well. Uh, please check our website, the athletic page, and your emails as you've gotten information about uh, the details of our fitness and activities program that will be starting next week. Uh, that will also run for a period of six weeks um, and we're happy to be able to provide that. And we're actually really happy to have our students uh, have another set of activities and to be outside and on the field uh, during this time. Um, I also wanted to give the parents uh, as well as the community a little bit of an update in terms of what we did over our half days on October 9th and October 14th. Um, those days were pivotal as they allow teachers time to be able to regroup, plan with their colleagues and practice new skills, uh, particularly pertaining to the remote learning aspect of things. And they were able to share somewhat of what it is that they were doing um, and some of the things that they are looking to continue to do um, with generating new ideas and new activities for our students. Also technology workshops were given to the elementary uh, teachers, which was regarding Seesaw, Google Meet, classroom, clever, uh, and also training for our permanent subs. And at the secondary level, uh, they were also trained on additional resources 
courses for Google Classroom and Meet, uh, Nearpod, uh, Google Breakout Rooms, um, and using the new BOCES for Science Kits uh, and navigating the new website with remote resources as well. Um, the other aspect that we just wanted to make sure that we were prepared for and the elementary schools have worked hard on that day was to work on what we call just-in-case uh, folders in the case that the class has to go for remote. So we are looking and planning um, for all aspects of things that could come down throughout the course of this year. Um, as we go into Halloween, I just want to give some general uh, information on Halloween. Uh, one, please stay safe and be cautious um, this year around Halloween. Um, as such, uh, I think the Long Island has done a great job in putting together the pur Purple Pumpkin uh, Safety Initiative um, in order to spread the word of uh, safe homes to trick or treat uh, and to, to visit. And if you see a purple per uh, pumpkin drawing or painting on an actual, uh, or an actual pumpkin that's painted purple, uh, know that it is safe and it's COVID free. It's a COVID free home for the kids to be able to trick or treat um, and visit. A couple of dates to remember. Uh, next week also is election day. That's November 3rd. Our students are off from school that day. Uh, and November uh, 5th is our next Board of Education meeting, which is a public work session. So that will also be live streamed. And you can find that link right on our website. Uh, today, I want to be able to share with you a couple of the other things that have been going on in our schools, as I do, as I have been doing for the past couple of weeks to share a couple of photos and images to kind of give you some insight on how we're getting back to a sense of normalcy. Our first photo is from Wilson, uh, the Wilson student government. Um, was uh, visited by Mayor Murray as well as Deputy Mayor of Axley to get some tips on running for office and how to run an effective campaign. Um, students are in the process of preparing their speeches to give virtually to their classmates and to get elected into office. So kudos to them and for those people who are stepping up to run. Um, good, for you, good for them in terms of uh, getting engaged with civil service. Our second photo comes from Southside Middle School. Uh, there was early Halloween celebration on Monday. Southside Middle School students uh, in the red group are dressed up for Halloween. Uh, principal McGinn and Assistant Principal uh, Duggan, uh, as well as Assistant Principal um, Ms. LaSource, dressed up in huge orange inflated suits. Uh, each student had a sticker all over that displayed uh, words of kindness. Uh, we can't forget that uh, this time of year as we also move into uh, you know, the rest of the winter uh, kindness. Uh, does go a really long way, uh, particularly in keeping all of us, you know, in our in, in our hearts warm. So uh, it was good for them to be able to uh, put those words on them, and the students all laughed as they were welcomed by the staff in these inflatable costumes. Uh, and if you're in the blue group, don't worry. I know that they're also planning to be doing the same thing for the blue group as well. Uh, so I look forward to being able to hear about all the the student laughter uh, from the blue group as well as seeing. Uh, this is happening this week. Um, that concludes my report for this week. Some of the uh, things that are going to be coming up, I will continue to share with you on these live streams. Um, and we'll keep you updated uh, all throughout our social media, through the website, and also through written letter communications um, as things come up. Um, we are listening. We are in this together. And we're consistently thinking about what we're going to be doing next whether that's educationally, whether that's in terms of the operations of, of our schools um, and beyond. So uh, thank you for partnering with us, and I hope to be able to bring you some more information next week. I'll see you then.